it's 2021. Um, PSD2, the open banking regulation live in Europe for two years, um, spans across 6,000 banks. That's a lot of banks. Um, how does it work in real life? So if I'm a developer, if I'm like a startup, I want to connect, you know, I'm building the next uh, personal finance management app, I'm building the next Klarna, I'm building the next TransferWise, where, you know, this is day zero. Uh, we, we, we hear that there's this PSD2. How does it work? Like what, what steps do you take to actually connect to those bank accounts? And, uh, um, and you know, like it's been talked about how hard it is to build bank APIs in, in unregulated um, uh, environments. Is it like super easy to build bank APIs in, in um, regulated environments? Yeah, again, very good question. And I think that really ties into what is the origin of how we came to our approach of doing uh, open banking APIs. So API is a, let's, let's think of it's like a road and, and somebody already has to build the road and you can already access that information from the bank, right? So it's actually a bank that have to build those roads and we are like these small connector points that connect to it and, and facilitate someone else to, to get the access. There are some like hoops you have to jump through. So we have to be a regulated institution. We have to comply. What does it mean to be a regulated institution? Because that like that's also been thrown around a lot. Like, do you have to be a bank? Do you have is there um, what what are the processes to actually become one? Is there like one license for the whole Europe? Uh, yeah. So every country has their own financial of, uh, financial governing authority that uh, governs the uh, process of financial financial services in the country. Uh, the payment service directive, the aforementioned, uh, defines that if you want to provide uh, like data access service or payment initiation service, you need to acquire a license. And that implies that you need to be a reliable partner. You need to know, you need to have a coherent business plan. You need to have uh, solid uh, data handling processes. So that the licensing actually implies that you have all the checks and balances for, uh, to provide a secure and reliable service. But coming back to your question on uh, this API framework in the Europe, uh, so the heavy lifting is done by banks and uh, I don't want to undermine uh, uh, investment, time investment uh, or resource investment we have done, but really it, it's the ban banks that build out this infrastructure. And when we started building this out early on, we understood that uh, there's a problem in the market, right? And the problem is that the true cost of maintaining the service is, is not what market is charging for the service. And when we, when we looked at what is the real investment we need to do to build out these connections, we have very soon understood that uh, uh, if, it's, if it's anything, it's really small. So what we should go, we should go and provide a free service because that's what open banking should be, right? Open means that it should be accessible.